Hey everybody, Rick Needham, Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing on Saturday afternoon, February the 11th. And this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. We have a stakes-filled Saturday afternoon of racing, folks. Let's go to the Big A Aqueduct Race Course for Race 4, 1.52 p.m. Eastern Post Time for the Dearly Precious Stakes. It's a six furlong sprint on Aqueduct's winterized inner dirt track. Three-year-old fillies race for $75,000. Contenders number three, well kept. Number one, Corderosa. Number four, Singlet. And number two, List T. If you folks who enjoy a little thoroughbred racing history to accompany your handicapping efforts today, that today's race is named in honor of a filly, bred by Mrs. Jean M. Pancoast, owned by R.E. Bailey, trained by Steve DeMauro, dearly precious was an impressive 8 for 9 as a 2 year old in 1975 en route to an Eclipse Award for the outstanding 2 year old filly of that year. Among her stakes wins in 1975 were the Fashion at Belmont Park, the Astoria at Belmont, and the Spinaway Stakes at Saratoga. As a 3 year old, the daughter of Dr. Fager was victorious in both the Prioress and the Acorn at Belmont Park. She was also a winner of the Dark Mirage Stakes at Aqueduct, but in that race on July 11, 1976, she bowed the tendon in her left foreleg and was consequently retired following that victory. She retired with a career record of 12 wins and 2 seconds from 16 starts, with earnings of some $370,500. Here in the 18th renewal of the stakes event, number three, Well Kept, has hit the board in five straight starts, including back-to-back -back circle trips in her third and fourth races back. It was off back-to-back -back power run place finishes in her last two starts. Jockey Irad Ortiz and trainer Lee and Garamaya sent her to the post for the Saturday Co. feature. They've hit the board with 64% of their entries sidled as a team to date. Number one, Corda Rosa. Qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, is hit the board in power run fashion in both of her two career starts to date, including a power run win to break her maiden in her first asking. Race 4 summary, number 3, well kept, tops the contenders list today, which also includes number 1, Corderosa, number 4, Singlet, and number 2, List T, 3-1-4-2, and the 4th from Aqueduct, the $75,000 dearly precious stakes. Go to Gulfstream Park for their huge feature, race 10. The Don Handicap, nine furlongs on the dirt, grade one, four year olds and up, race four, a prize of a half a million dollars. Contenders number eight, Trick Meister, number seven, Flat Out, number six, Al Kahali, and number two, Mission Impassable. Star studded race, folks, featuring two of the three Triple Crown winners from last year's. From last year is Preakness Stakes winner number nine Shackleford and the winner of the Belmont Stakes number three Ruler on Ice are in the field and I don't even have them in my contenders list. It's also a great betting race folks as the morning line favorite. Shackleford opens the windows at a tepid nine to two. Number eight Track Meister a six to one shot has posted five straight wins with its last four circle trips also qualifying as power run wins. Jockey Ramon Dominguez and trainer Richard Dutrow Jr. sent him to the post for the Saturday feature. They've hit the board with 69% of nearly 125% at uh, 125 entries saddled as a team to date. Number seven, flat out, five to one in the morning line, has hit the board in power run fashion in three of his last five adventures, including a power run win in his fourth race back. Race 10 summary, number 8, Trickmeister, tops my contenders list today, which also includes number 7, Flat Out, number 6, Al Kahali, and number 2, Mission Impassable, 8762, and the 10th from Gulfstream Park, the $500,000 Grade 1 Don Handicap. Bonus long shots, Parks Racing, Ben Salem, Pennsylvania, Race 8, Number three, Miss Lydian, an eight to one shot, qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, has hit the board in power run fashion in four of her last five starts. Charlestown, race six, entry number six, Caroline's Dancer, six to one in the morning line, qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, takes a class drop of nine units. The overall speed leader in this maiden field, sprinting at tonight's specialized distance of seven furlongs on the dirt. So handicapping stakes racing on a Saturday from both Aqueduct and Gulfstream Park. Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle. Reminding you as always to please bet with your head.
not over it.